What's up, Snaz fam? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all crushing life. Today's video, today's yes. We are focusing on the Shelby again. I don't know why I'm smiling because this is, uh, this is not good. But before we get into that, we have an update on the Raptor. Now, if you recall in the last video, we upgraded the tires and the wheels for the Raptor, which was desperately needed. The tires were shredded and the wheels were stock that were plasti dipped, which I, I think looked good at first, but obviously over time wore out. So we did the upgrade, but it created a problem. The problem obviously being that I couldn't drive it because the 38s I put on were too stinking big and I can't turn, I'm rubbing, I can't even do like a 10% turn. So uh, it's undrivable. Also, never, ever, ever, under any circumstance, ever lay underneath a vehicle so if you recall we caught the front bumper here because I thought most of the rub was in the front but it was in the front and the back and we can't even turn the vehicle at all so we're gonna remedy that I really wanted to put 38s and I knew like I said Tron told me it's not gonna work but I wanted the 38s so I was already planning on, on figuring out what I got to do to make it work so I reached out to the crew at agility and we're working on a plan. I should clarify and I think you guys know don't do things the way that I do things like do it maybe in an order backwards to how I do things, or maybe just do them different and do them better. Keys, keys. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Okay, we're gonna start her up and take her on a very, 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 very short drive. But first, we gotta wait for our special guest. While we're waiting for a ride, I wanna remind you all about the Aura Ring. I mentioned it a couple videos ago. Link below, make sure you check it out. This ring is like amazing. It's way better than all the smartwatches and other devices because they're so big. This is such a tiny little device that measures your steps, your activity, your readiness, your sleep. That's right, because when you're asleep, you can't actually measure your sleep because you're, you're sleeping. You don't actually know how you're sleeping. So when you wake up, this will tell you how you're doing. What's up, bro? Uh, you got your aura ring yet? My aura? Aura ring. Well, my aura ring. You got your aura ring I yet, bro? I have a stupid, like, Whoa. Like, this is just like some Seriously? cheap like, piece of crap. It's not even, it's not worth anything. You know what's crazy? Uh, this is not our special guest. You, you're a bonus special guest. Bonus special guest. Right, you're a special guest. I was feeling when you said that, I felt a lot less special for a minute, but. You were, no, you're more special. Uh, you're equally special. It's getting awkward. You're equally special as our special guest. But while we're waiting for our other special guest, again, make sure you hit the link below, check out Aura Ring. It tracks so many amazing things for you. The app is like super slick. I've been wearing it for months. Check it out below. Stefan, uh, where is he? Okay, we're still waiting. I'm tired of waiting. You heard something bad happened, but you haven't heard what it is. So I haven't. I just, yeah, I just I heard that something is started up. A muck. Started up. Yeah, a muck. That's a great word, by the way. Also, uh, we can't show the viper because secrets. Oh. So don't tell him. Okay. Okay. Don't yeah. tell him. Yes. I got you. Okay. You, you tell me when. Yeah. Go for it. Ready? <laughs> Kinda just. It sounds icky. It doesn't, it doesn't sound, can I turn it off? Yeah, it's please, please. Whoa, that thing, I don't want to make fun of the blue car that just rolled up, but I didn't hear it. I barely noticed it. Yeah. Fortunately, we know James. <laughs> He's going <laughs> to rectify that problem. I want to clarify one thing before you see it on the video. Okay. We may have slightly, slightly insulted the C8, slightly. But in that, we made a very big compliment to you. Who insulted the C8? Well, we, we mentioned the exhaust. It's, it's quieter. I like it that way. But it's you're my fixed. quiet car. He's getting, oh. It's legal. My he's car's getting legal. Really old. When he starts oh. seeing it, he's like, oh, I want my car legal. I want it to be quiet. I, uh, this is awkward. Because I was complimenting you that you were going to fix it and make it way well, better I sounding. Mean, it is going to sound Because that's what you do. Okay. I don't want it to sound like that guy's car. No, though. no, 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 no. Just better. the other morning, I had to go pick him up because he was too embarrassed to start his car at 6 a.m. But that's it. You know, I was gonna just have a car. Okay. <laughs> this car. I'm giving you a ride. I'm giving this guy a ride right now. This conversation didn't go the way I. Let's cut back to the shall we? Okay, we're gonna drive this to the dealership. It's not very far. We're gonna go very, very slow and carefully. I hope it doesn't like actually catch on fire and go and we die. Okay. Let's go. We gotta be quick. Get some fuel. I just, I mean, I'm not mechanical. We always say that. 
I don't know what's going on, but it's it's not it's not good. It's not getting the power. It's not getting the beam. All right, we are on full acceleration right now. It's taking 30 seconds just to get up to this speed. Oh, we can shift to third. Yes. Okay. We might be able to go to the speed of traffic. Please catch all green. The nice thing is my full acceleration is equivalent to that PT Cruiser there. So I think uh, we're doing okay. It's just, it's, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't good. This is definitely a different issue than when the engine blew. It's making a different noise, different sound, different smell, and the whole thing. It's still uh, super stressful. I, I feel like it's a big problem. We got one more turn to make, and then we're home free. Oh, uh, yeah, the blue oval right behind the Mercedes. We got the blue oval, baby. Oh, we made it. Kill it. Oh, man, we made it. I'm amazed. I got to say goodbye for a while again. You just want to wave? Bye. Good thing we forever. had a Chevy. It works. <laughs> oh. She's already gone. They already took her back to the back to check her out. What's that smoke? It's oh, huh. Oh, it's <laughs> too, too soon. Uh, I'm going to say this on camera, so I don't have to say it off camera. I only say it once. Thank you yet again for you the ride. You off camera too. To the uh, Ford dealership to drop off my broken Shelby. I love my Shelby. I, I don't know, but thank you. It didn't thank sound you. good. It didn't look good. It smelled awful. Falling. You were behind me. I, I was. Did not that was good. as fast as I could accelerate. I, I did. Did you notice I beat the PT Cruiser? I <laughs> did you look at that PT Cruiser though? Yeah, the guy was also 90. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, uh, yeah, so this is a C8 Corvette. This is beautiful. Uh, it has a fully functioning engine. Yeah. Uh, it's got a factory warranty as well. We probably okay. don't need it though. Uh, it's rapid blue, blue interior. Wow. What are you driving? What are you driving now? Because let's see. The Mustang's gone. The Viper's got no tires. You went full send on the Raptor and got tires that didn't fit. What are you driving, bro? I've been driving the smart to work. Yes, you have. So here's the situation. He's... On, you can, you, I mean, on camera, off camera, whatever you want to do, I mean, you know. I, I'm going golfing tomorrow. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, uh, wait. My buddy has a Honda Accord. It also blew mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. We don't have a car. We can't take the smart car because right. you can't well, fit Well, I mean, two, you could. No, you can't fit yeah, two you, sets of clubs. Yeah, if you wanted to, you could. How? You strapped to the roof, bro. Oh. Well, just, just, I'm just waiting for it. You can ask politely. Please, you say can, please. Can I borrow a car? <laughs> ah, how the, the, leverage, how the, the leverage. tables have turned. Tides, the tide's gone down. Up. What do you want? Tides. What do you want? Wait, what are you offering? Not much. I mean, I don't. Ha I have limited options. I'd take the Tesla. I'd be happy That's with what the I was Tesla. Give you. The oh, Tesla okay. might be sold in a couple days, but you got it for the weekend. You got it for the weekend. It's being Hold charged. On. It's being charged right now. Hold on. Just because the Shelby's gone doesn't mean I can't have a stacked garage still. Welcome, smart, to the garage. Oh, look at this. I am getting demolished. I'm jumping in the water. I'm going off the bridge. Man, it's like I've never played a video game in my life. I mean, I dominate Mario Kart. This is kind of the same thing. You'd think I'd be better at this. We're getting there. Come on, finish line. Come on, finish line. Come on, get in first. That's right, I'm a winner. Pay no attention to the fact that that was the easiest mode possible, so yeah. Massive thanks to James for the Tesla owner. This thing is nice. The white interior, it's like precious. Also, it's been a minute since he gave me a ride back from the Ford dealer because, as you guys know, I went and worked out and that like nearly killed me. I survived, I'm good, but it's been a minute. We still don't have an update on what went wrong with the Shelby though. I am nervous. Also, side note, my brother-in-law is shopping for a WRX right now. I'm stoked for him to get one. I think he's going to be sweet. Let's hear that exhaust. Whoosh. Yeah, okay, that was lame. But what's not lame, a beautiful, gorgeous, red-specked, white-roofed Ford Flex SEL, baby. Got to get one of those. One, two, three, go. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I got to tell you, this Tesla, she's slick. She's quick. Maybe it should be my next car. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna get V8. Don't worry, we're going V8. Maybe V10, V12, nah, V8. The most unsettling thing for me with the Teslas is the fact that you just like hit the park button, you get out and you walk away. Obviously you should lock the car and that kind of like shuts everything down. But I miss the satisfaction of actually like turning off 
a vehicle. I like that. You're done, boom, button, complete. Maybe there's a function for that, I don't know, but the Tesla, you just like, you just get out. And I get that that's probably like a feature of the Tesla, simplicity, the AI, but I really do like the satisfaction of like, turning it off. The Raptor, she is looking good though. Look at those 38s and 18s. Too big, my fault, but still look good. Oh, look at that power combo. Now I also took some time to stack a bunch of boxes after the workout. We obviously have the old Raptor tires here. I might put them back on temporarily just so I have a vehicle. We got a bunch of mods. We got a lot of work to do, but the Shelby mods, we got the Whipple superchargers over there, and then we have the ultimate headers here. I was gonna put the superchargers on first and then the headers later. I might flip that once the Shelby comes back. It really just depends what's wrong with the Shelby. Shelby engines obviously cost thousands of dollars. The warranty ends in October. I don't really wanna like risk voiding the warranty and having something else happen, but at the same time, I'm not a big believer in that like the engines are gonna blow up and keep blowing up and keep blowing up. It's, it's gonna get fixed, I believe. However, there is the possibility that whatever just happened again was related to the engine, replace the engine again. I don't know, but if we do, then what do we do? At what point do you get to the lemon law? Again, I think we're far away from that, but there's just a lot of like contingencies, a lot of different directions this could go. But ultimately, I wanna put the ultimate headers on, I wanna put the superchargers on, and I wanna to get to that Shelby where I think it should be and could be very, very soon. And just in case I forgot to mention what happened when it broke, I was cruising home from work the other day, going 80, fifth gear, just cruising, no poles, no accelerations, anything like that. And all of a sudden, like something just like snapped. I didn't hear it, I just felt it. It just went uh, sluggish twice on me. I barely coasted home. It was sluggish ever since. I couldn't get power, barely started. That's what happened, that's what we know. Obviously, I'm gonna keep you all posted on the status of the Shelby, but until then, we're gonna be driving the Smart. We're gonna be driving the Tesla. Next video, though, we're getting that Viper fixed up. We're gonna be ripping the V10 around town like we should be a lot, lot more. But until then, I wish you all the best of luck. Make sure you go crush it. Peace.